Hey guys, it's Phil from Tom's Bronco Parts. Wanted to talk to you guys today about the vintage AC kit that we offer and some of the issues you run into as far as fitment goes with the condenser in front of the radiator and with the compressor, the way that it's mounted. Um, first, I'll start off by talking about the condenser here on the front. One of the biggest issues is your two hookup fittings here on the passenger side will interfere with the welds or the side tanks on the radiator here. One way I achieved of getting rid of that uh, issue was to change where the condenser sat and I moved it forward about 3 eighths of an inch. You can achieve that by trimming the lower core support piece down here if you want to take a look. You can trim this down here by 3 eighths of an inch and move that whole lower core or lower condenser assembly forward. As far as the top goes, you can take out 3 eighths of an inch on this bracket here, which will bring this whole thing forward. When you do that, you've got a safety latch plate that's behind here on the core support. It has two 90 degree pieces that come forward and will interfere with the condenser. You'll wanna shave the profile of those down flat so that when you pull this forward, it's not rubbing or cutting into the condenser. Once you do those two modifications and you get this thing sitting forward more, you'll have just about an eighth of an inch gap away up here from the core support to the condenser side pieces. You'll have plenty of room between your fitting connections with the radiator and the condenser. And I've achieved managing to uh, put in an HD radiator, which we also offer uh, for the extra cooling capacity. So the next thing I'll show you will be the compressor modifications needed to make that fit. Okay guys, the other issue we're gonna talk about is the compressor mounting and alignment. Vintage Air has you utilizing the inner pulley groove on the compressor. And when that is used like that, it pushes the whole compressor forward, interfering with not only the shroud, but also the fan blades themselves. I was able to move the whole compressor unit back 5 eighths of an inch and align the outer groove of the uh, compressor with the rest of the pulleys on the motor itself. What you'll have to do is if you look back here, there's three spacer tubes that attach the actual compressor bracket to the head of the motor. You'll have to take out 5 eighths of an inch of that tube which will allow the whole unit to come back towards the motor. When you do that, you run into another uh, couple things that need to be addressed. One being, you'll be really close to your valve cover. You'll have to take a die grinder and take a little bit of material off the valve cover itself. You'll also have to take one of these bolt heads down that is close to the valve cover and actually trim the profile of it down to about half of its head height. That'll allow it to bypass and clear when you go to tension the compressor unit over to tension the belt. I also rotated the compressor. Vintage Air wants you to have these straight up for your hose connections. I rotated the compressor over so that the connections would be out towards the driver's side wheel well here. You can still route your hoses over. They've got a, a bend on them that still allows you to bend them over and run over to the passenger side for both your high and low pressure hoses. Um, so now that everything's been moved back 5 eighths of an inch and clearanced to function, the, com the power steering unit now sits back 5 eighths of an inch. So if you notice during your assembly procedure, there's a bracket that actually mounts this com this power steering unit to the compressor bracketry, it will have to be spaced forward 5 eighths of an inch to realign it with the groove on the outer uh, hub assembly here on the compressor and your outer groove on your water pump and crankshaft. So with doing all of that, I've accomplished um, realigning everything and moving the compressor back and allowing me to use a steel shroud, an HD radiator, and a factory seven blade fan with no issues. So if you guys have any questions, please give us a call here at Tom's Bronco Parts.